I've been, the Holy Spirit's been bringing me back to the phrase in the New Testament, the river of life or the river of living water. When Jesus came to the woman at the well, he said, if you knew who was talking to you, you would ask and he would give you living water, zoe water, zao or zoe, God's life. You're drinking from this well of Jacob, and the word well is in the passage twice. The first mention of the well, the well of Jacob, is freyar, and it means a cistern, a holding tank. But then he said to her later, the water that I put inside of you will be a well springing up, a living water. And that's a different word. That's pege, and it means, a, it means an artesian well, a fountain. So the, the translator should never use the word well twice. Most of them do in that passage. But it's complete, you completely miss the meaning of what Jesus is saying if you don't understand that he's using two different words there. You got the freyar, the cistern, you got the pege, the artesian gushing well. And he said, I want you to be a gushing well. I want you to have something in you that's alive. Not just a holding tank for what I did way back then with Jacob, but something now, something today. The living water standing in front of you, ready to put it inside of you. And if you knew who you were talking to, you'd ask me for it and I'd give it to you. And eventually she did and he did. So three chapters later, John chapter 7, Jesus is watching them perform one of the ceremonies in the temple. And they went through the, you know, the, the ritual and they would take water and they would put it in the pitcher. They would pour it out and they would chant scriptures from, from the Old Testament Jesus was always, it seemed like he just delighted in interrupting them and messing with them. And he has the audacity in this sacred feast with the people reverently watching this procedure. Hallelujah, when they're chanting, and Jesus stands up and says, hey! Everybody looks at him. He says, if anybody's thirsty, come to me and drink. I mean, can you imagine what this was like for them? It was like, huh? Who? We, we understand now what he was saying. All of this that you're doing is a picture of me. I'm the water. And I've come to put my living water in you again, not some ritual, not some Jacob's well cistern. I want to bubble up inside of you with living water. So he says, hey, if anybody's thirsty... Let him come to me and drink. Every time, every verb in those verses is, is present tense and imperative. So every verb means you do this continually and the form of the word means it is a command, not a suggestion. So what he said was, to those who are thirsty, really thirsty, continuously thirsty, let them come to me. You must come to me and you must keep on coming to me and drink my water and keep on drinking my water. And I'm not suggesting that you drink my water. I'm telling you, you need to drink the water that I'm bringing. And if you do out of your belly, your well, but not a cistern, it's a fountain, will flow, keep on flowing. I command it to flow. 
if you drink this water and keep on drinking this water because you're thirsty and you continue to be thirsty, I will keep pouring it into you and it will keep flowing out of you. I command this water to flow out of you. That's, that's the tense. Out of your koilea, womb, matrix, innermost being, okay, but don't miss the symbolism of the womb. Out of your koilea, your womb, the place inside a lady that carries a baby reproduces, brings forth life. And Jesus said, we, there's coming, this is my paraphrase, now, there's coming a time when you're gonna be finished with these pictures and all this ritual stuff. Because I'm gonna come and show you what this was all about. I'm gonna put me in you and the river of life's gonna start bubbling up inside of you and I'm gonna command it to flow out of you so you're going to keep coming, you're going to keep drinking, you're going to keep flowing. And here's, here's what I keep coming back to as I meditate on this, which I think he's trying to stir in us again. The, 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 the living water there and the living water in John 4 with the lady at the well is the exact same phrase in Greek as the river of living water in Revelation 22. When it says, out from the lamb on the throne flows a river, a river of life that feeds the trees whose leaves heal the nations. Now, what are we going to do with that? That the very same river flowing from the Lamb that will one day completely transform, restore, and renew everything is the very same river that's supposed to be flowing out of us now. And I think one of the things God's about to do is he's, He is raising up a remnant that thinks completely differently than, than the church has thought for ever when we come together. It's not going to be going to a building or a meeting like this to get something. I mean, we'll get things, we'll receive, but we're, we're coming to merge our water with their water so that we become a river rising filled with life, and we'll come together to say, not what can I get, but what, what is my part to give here? I wonder who the Lord wants to heal through me tonight. When this happens at the level it will happen, we're going to be back in the book of Acts where it won't just be the apostles healing the sick. It'll be these deacons don't think title, think people serving practically around the room. That's what it, that's what it means. Diakonos, it's a, it's a servant. So, you know, by the time God was finished early in the book of Acts, by the time he was finished with this progression, by the time you get to Acts 6, 7, now, now it's not just the, 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 the apostles healing the sick and raising the dead. It's Philip, it's Stephen, it's... The first, the first guy we know of that was translated in order to preach the gospel and then translated back wasn't one of the apostles. It was one of the deacons. And when he came back from ministering, Philip, it was said of him, many, this blows my mind, many paralyzed people were healed. 